Nigeria's president, good luck, Jonathan, in an effort to improve on the country's economy, has commissioned the country's first fruit juice concentrate plant in Benue State with the capacity of producing 26,000 metric tons of fruit juice concentrates annually. Abira in Abuja caught up with the CEO of Transcorp and asked him if there were any plans to expand the plant to other Nigerian states. Different states in Nigeria have different products, agricultural products, which they are most proficient in. Um, our plan is really to identify different products and where they are most suitably grown in Nigeria and to partner with those states to process them uh, for the benefit of Nigeria. What employment opportunities does this offer to both the indigenous community as well as other Nigerians? Um, in many phases. First, for the farmers themselves who have uh, a renewed reason now to expand their, their, their farms. Um, what, you, what you had in the past was a situation where over 60% of their products um, gets perished um, annually. And so that limits the ability to increase their production. What we have provided for them now is a ready avenue, a large volume avenue for them to sell. Uh, and we expect that that will allow quite a large number of people to go into farming and actually to employ more hands to produce the quantity that we need. That's on the, on the one hand. On the other hand, right here in the factory also, we, we employ uh, you know, a few hundred people. Um, within six months, we expect our plant to be running three full shifts. And so we're going to be providing employment for factory hands, for electricians, for chemists, uh, and all sorts of people. One of Nigeria's agricultural expansion goals is not only to see Nigerians patronizing made in Nigeria goods, but also to see that it's available to foreign markets. Does Terra Grow plan on exporting any of its products to the outside world? Absolutely. Um, Nigeria is the second highest producer of citrus in the whole world. Now, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh all ex export. So it's not going to be far-fetched that within a very short time, we will saturate the local market. And already, um, surprisingly, without even commissioning this factory, we're already getting phone calls from international buyers seeking to understand the product we're producing and to place others. But uh, in the first instance, we're going to be trying to, to saturate the local market. With recent realities that suggest that Nigeria cannot only rely on its oil revenues, um, does Terra Grow plan on venturing into other aspects of the agribusiness? What we want to do is to look, we've looked at the entire agribusiness chain and we've decided that we are going to focus on the food processing part of the chain. Um, and we're going to do this in a large number of products over the years. We're starting with the citrus and we're also looking at cassava, we're looking at rice, we're looking at uh, tomatoes and there's a large bouquet of products where Nigeria has you know, huge potentials to produce um, much more than it's even doing right now. How much of an impact will this have on the economy, especially in light of the fact that Nigeria exports, uh, imports many of uh, its food concentrates into the country? What we expect is beyond food concentrates that this would trigger uh, a new way of thinking for Nigerians. Um, right now there's a huge strain on our foreign exchange reserves by people looking for funds to import products into Nigeria. So first of all, for orange and mango, we expect this to reduce as the producers will look more inwards to buying from us. Now, as Transcorp goes into other products and as also other businesses see the kind of success that we expect to make, we expect more people to come into uh, this. And over the years, we expect that Nigeria will become quite sufficient producing for itself and actually exporting. What is the current arrangement with the state government of Benue? Benue State are long-time business partners, um, the first of its kind. What they, what they did was to build this plant, and we've leased it over a long time. Um, we expect, with the success that this will generate, to be able to build new plants across the state and to other states. How much has Transcorp put into this project right now? Well, um, not quite specific, but it's close to a billion naira now. Well, as mentioned, the plant will produce 26,000 metric tons of fruit juice annually. The Bureau also caught up with Jide Adedeji, who's CEO of Nigerian agribusiness group Terragro. The plant has the capacity for about 26,000 metric tons of juices, fruit juices, and it also can process oranges, mangoes, and pineapple concentrates. Awesome. Is there any future plans on maybe doing other fruits? 
Well, in Benue State, we are going to stick to those three fruits because that is what they have in abundance and at commercial values. And uh, in other parts of the country, depending on what is available in terms of quality, raw, um, abundant raw materials, we are going to do those considerations separately. Um, we are also looking at employment opportunities here. How much of an employment opportunity does this pose to the indigenous community as well as you know, Nigerians in general? Well, I will start outside of the plant, in fact. What we have seen is that um, along the value chain for these fruits, um, of course, the position of the farmer is, in, is invigorated. There's more sales of oranges. They have more assurances that their oranges are not going to be, I mean, lost. And the post harvest losses that they've been um, encountering will be reduced. Now, in terms of employment, there are people involved in the chain that helps the farmer to pluck the oranges, to, to load the oranges, to bag the oranges. Those are create, this is creating employment at that level and also at the transportation and distribution level. There's a lot of transportation people that we've been talking to that are engaged in our procurement uh, uh, process. They help us to ship the product, even though it's not from far away, but it's close by. But these transporters also are benefiting in terms of uh, employment. Also, we, at, we have three shifts. Eventually, when we're at optimal production, we have at, by now about 25 to 30 people per shift. So we're talking about 100 people that will be employed here gamefully. And indirectly also, there will be other people. I have people that are cooking for staff. They come here and sell food and things like that. So this is employment opportunity and encouragement for, for, for these kind of things. We have, uh, we have carpenters that are helping us manufacture different materials for bagging and moving the fruits and things like that. So there's quite a bit of uh, economic activities that are enhanced.